Jesus assures us we have a purpose on earth and it requires love of each other to accomplish. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, and we read Matthew 25, we see Jesus teaching with parables again, trying to help us understand the kingdom of heaven and what's expected of us while in this kingdom. The first lesson in verses 1 through 13 is all about being committed and prepared. It's the story of the ten virgins who were on their way to see the bridegroom. Five, known as the wise virgins, were committed and prepared for the journey because they carried extra flasks of oil for their travels. Uh, The other five virgins were considered foolish because they were committed yet not prepared to see the bridegroom who was running late. At midnight, the bridegroom came and everyone was uh, invited to meet him. The foolish virgins didn't have enough oil and asked the wise for some of theirs. The answer was no, go buy your own. Of course, by the time they returned, the door to the marriage feast was already closed and the wise virgins were able to enter. When the foolish virgins asked to enter, the bridegroom replied in verse 12, I do not know you. That's similar to Jesus' statement in Matthew 7:23. I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. The moral of the parables in verse 13, we must watch for the bridegroom Jesus, for we know not the day nor the hour when he will come. Verses 14 through 30 is a parable of the three servants who were given money by the master just before his long journey. Two of the servants invested, one did not. The investing servants knew the master as someone who appreciated a good return on his money. The other servant's relationship was with the master was based on fear, so he buried his money in the ground. The investors were rewarded by more authority. The others, the other guys suffered in verse 30 when the master said, Throw the good-for-nothing servant into the outer darkness. In verses 31-46 through 46 explains what it will be like when Jesus returns handing out rewards and punishments based on how we treated the weakest around us. Verse 40, And as far as you provided for the least of these, my brethren, you provided for me. Those who didn't care for these, verse 46 says, they will go to eternal punishment, and while the providers will get eternal life. Words of encouragement. In Jesus' parables, he paints a word picture of what we can expect as citizens of the kingdom of heaven. It's all about loving each other, providing for each other with the the talents, time, and skills that we've been gifted. There is a day upcoming when we will have to give account for how we spent these things, and and we will be rewarded and punished as appropriate. Have a great day.